Well guys, this is a com completely new type of uh, video for me. So, I hope uh, it all goes well. I just wanted to tell you my personal opinion about uh, Windows 10. Uh, it seems that I've been running uh, the final version of Windows 10 for about 10 or 11 days. And this happened uh, uh, at the last uh, big update when the build number disappeared from this corner and one moment you can also see that we have here Microsoft 10 Pro and uh, no more uh, insider text so I'm ready to bet uh, all my money that this is the, the final version of Windows uh, or uh, actually not the final version because they will uh, release uh, updates after updates after updates for this but uh, the at least the version that will be sent to the manufacturers and uh, probably sold on the, on the DVDs or uh, USB sticks for uh, installing on computers. So, yeah, this is pretty nice. Windows, uh, or actually Microsoft didn't say anything about this. So I'm thinking that they actually did this just to see if there uh, are any last moment problems that they need to fix and for me at least uh, everything is going perfectly smooth with this version uh, I don't know I, I actually simply really like it <laughs> the setup uh, or actual actually upgrade process was uh, extremely simple I was running uh, Windows 10 Insider version, this final version appeared as an update, I let it uh, do its thing and you can see the final version. Uh, this tablet is an um, Asus T100, it starts uh, really fast with this uh, Windows 10, probably because uh, uh, Windows 10 requirements are uh, actually pretty low and you can see this tablet has 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, and then uh, actually this is a quad core processor or dual core with hyper threading I'm not even sure about that but uh, anyway it's not a very par powerful uh, processor but it still handles this without any issues so Keep that in mind uh, as I'm working on it, that uh, probably it will work way faster on a desktop PC with a more powerful processor and uh, more memory. So, uh, one very very important thing that I saw until now, this consumes, uh, at least in standby, it consumes way 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 less power than uh, Windows 8 or 8.1 that I had running on this uh, tablet. This hasn't been charged for about 5 days, 6 days. And I'm using it that night when I go to bed half an hour, an hour and about the same during the day, an hour. And I still have battery. So actually in standby it's not drawing almost any power from the battery so yeah that's pretty awesome because with Windows 8 and 8.1 I had problems where uh, battery drain was inconsistent maybe if I would have let it, uh, left it with 90% like it has now overnight in the morning it would be closed now I'm 99.99% uh, sure that I can leave it like this and in the morning I will have probably 15% or something similar to that so that's very very good uh, 
I don't know, all drivers for this tablet worked from uh, Windows uh, 8 from ASUS site, so no problems there. There are so, uh, still some uh, weird things about this. You can see for example, example if I'm using Google Chrome, the this keyboard doesn't disappear by itself. So I actually have to to close it to disappear. So that's uh, pretty annoying sometimes. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Because Windows Microsoft actually I'm keep saying I keep saying Windows decided to to give this okay. For example, now you see I want to put some text here, but it'll, it will not allow me to, to move this and the keyboard is over half of it. So when I'm typing it will appear over there. So that's not a big issue, but uh, this keyboard should uh, work a little bit better by itself. Uh, you shouldn't have to close it, open it, probably with... Uh, edge it's working better but uh, yeah I don't know no, you can see still not appearing by itself but of course if I would uh, use this in tablet mode I'm pretty sure that uh, yeah you see then it would work way better but uh, I don't know Maybe I will even use it in tablet mode from time to time. Time, but this is a convertible, so I also have a keyboard for this. Uh, actually, a dock even with a 500 gigabytes hard drive. So I don't like to keep keep switching between tablet, desktop mode. So I'm starting to to use it only in desktop mode. I did the same thing with uh, Windows 8.1. And it was uh, good enough. Another ni nice thing about Windows 10, probably, uh, it's uh, it allows you to have more desktops, but mm, yeah, I don't use uh, that feature. But this this part I really like about it. You can see you have uh, fast access to what's happened. Uh, in the time you were not at your uh, tablet and uh, some useful uh, shortcuts that's pretty good now I'm at 100% because I'm trying to to make this look uh, at least half decent on camera I'm not sure how it will look in the end uh, okay I really like this part of it how they uh, uh, merged Metro with uh, the desktop side of uh, Windows 10 because I actually for me this is a phone a Windows uh, phone I bought uh, for my mother a Windows phone she's very very happy with it on uh, Android she had problems crashing and stuff like that but on Windows it's way more stable limited in some areas but for her it's very important to be stable so yeah I'm thinking maybe even for me uh, Windows Phone would be a, a good upgrade in the future so this Windows 10, I'm not, okay, this is uh, one problem that I saw, but uh, I'm thinking it has something to do even with these drivers of the tablet. Uh, touch uh, isn't as uh, precise as on Windows 8.1. You can see this is appearing, but not disappearing by itself. It should, when the menu for which it put the uh, up disappears, uh, the, the keyboard should disappear uh, also by itself, but you have to close it. Like I said, in the tablet mode probably it's closing itself, but I don't use that. Uh, 
So like I was saying, I can see myself using this at work without any issues. We did not upgrade that work uh, to Windows 8.1. 8 I don't know why it's hard to say that. Because many of my colleagues were uh, very... I don't know, they, they didn't like it at all. I upgraded it. I use it at home but not at work. We had Windows 7, we have Windows 7. But this is... Uh, I don't know. Windows 7 with the great things from uh, Windows 8. The good things, great even, from Windows 8, so yeah, I really really like it. So yeah, if you have 7, 8, 8.1 upgrade to Windows 10 without any issues, just do it. Uh, compatibility mode works great on Windows 10 like it did for me on Windows 8 and, and the 8.1. I have some XP older software and I can run it without absolutely any issues. Uh, system drives are a bit locker encoded by default. I had no idea about this when I tried to encode it myself. It was uh, encrypted actually. Sorry. It was actually uh, already encrypted. So that's awesome. This tablet uh, came by itself with Windows 8. Uh, on it, I upgraded at uh, to 8.1, but I uh, installed uh, Windows 10 Insider uh, version on it because, uh, well, uh, I wasn't sure what I will be get, getting the upgrade to. Probably to Windows 10 uh, Home. And that was not good for me because I did not know for sure if it has uh, BitLocker encryption. So because I really wanted that uh, encryption, uh, I installed Windows 10 Insider, made myself an Insider, and then I got Windows 10 Pro for free. You can see it's activated, it's doing its updates by itself, so it's pretty pretty good. You can see I've just lost 2% uh, uh, of the battery from the moment we looked at it before. So 3% for, or maybe 4% from when I started the video. So it's at 100% brightness. Not doing much, but I try to keep playing on it. So this is pretty good. Uh, don't know. Let me check. I had a few things uh, wrote on paper, so I don't forget to tell you. One moment. Uh, yeah. It seems I already went through everything. <laughs> That's pretty good. Another thing I want to try now. It didn't work for me about uh, a week ago or maybe a few days, not sure. If I try to change the name of this text document, okay, rename, okay, so this is fixed now, perfectly. Uh, the weird thing that happened before, if I was trying to rename, okay, like this, the keyboard doesn't enable by default, but when I enable the keyboard, this got uh, deselected. So, then, when I was trying to select it again, uh, you can see you don't have the rename in the menu. So you can't, uh, you have to close it, then again, rename, I enabled it again, it got deselected, but now I see this is fixed, so yeah, I don't know if it was just a problem for me or a, a general problem and got fixed, but what can I say? Perfect. So, I'm not using Cortana or stuff like that. Uh, actually, voice comments because they are not available in my native language and my English not good enough for that uh, sort of thing, but uh, 
Yeah. This is just, just my opinion about Windows 10 on this tablet and I'm really really happy with it. The tablet uh, actually works better with it than it did with Windows 8. Uh, my desktop uh, did not get the update uh, yet. It has, let me show you something, it has uh, even the desktop this folder which is actually the Windows 10 ready for updating. But uh, I could start the setup myself even on the desktop, but I don't want, I'm uh, expecting it, you can see how you can move stuff around here, even by mistake like me. Uh, I'm waiting for Windows to update by itself, so if you have this folder, yeah, you already have a Windows 10 final version, uh, okay, folder and stuff in it, of course. Uh, Windows 10 final version uh, downloaded on your computer and you can start the upgrade if you want or wait for your computer to to start it. So yeah, this, this uh, way of doing stuff, of making smaller upgrades, all the uh, up updates, not upgrades, or actually they are upgrades, all the time to an operating system is very good for Windows. And I'm sure uh, stuff, uh, security problems and things like that will be solved uh, way qu uh, quicker than before. And yeah, you should let Windows do, if, do its thing. I'm seeing too much people around me that uh, disable Windows updates. I don't know why they do that. I'm not talking about people that don't have genuine Windows because I don't support that. Uh, I'm talking about people with genuine Windows that think that letting it, it uh, do its updates will make it uh, your PC run slower. But your PC doesn't run slower. Maybe at the point it's installing those uh, updates, but not the rest of the time. And you are actually protect protecting yourself by letting it uh, update and fix uh, security problems. So yeah, don't turn off updates. And uh, yeah, another thing for people still using Windows XP, with this Windows you don't have. Okay, this is working. I don't know why this isn't. Maybe I'm not, not pushing it wrong, even with my left hand or yeah, something. Uh, you ha don't have an excuse anymore to, to keep using Windows XP. You can upgrade to Windows 10 without any issues. I really, 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 really like it. So, yeah, for Windows XP that was a uh, good software but its time has ended and I'm seeing this as the perfect upgrade for, for those people and actually for, for everybody. So if I've missed something I will, uh, I will put it in the video de description if in, and if you have any questions for me uh, yeah, you, you you can ask me. I'm not used to doing this uh, type of video, so uh, I probably pretty much suck at it, but uh, I was just uh, happy about this discovery that I'm using Windows 10 for more than, than a week and I'm not having any issues with it. And I just wanted to to tell you what I've discovered and to encourage you to make this upgrade. So, talk to you in the comments and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.